The worst is over, but it was a close call. Crews doused a fire that popped up in Berlin this afternoon. Not before, though, it triggered some tense moments for people who live nearby. Investigators say it was caused by something that could happen to any of us. News 13's Jim Winchester is live in Berlin with details. Yeah, Diane, about 32 acres of grassy brush and trees were scorched down here late this afternoon. But by all accounts, it could have been a lot worse. Now, it's still smoldering down here this evening, but a lot of people are saying that firefighters got on this right away, which helped save a lot of potential damage. Now, state fire officials say that the wildfire broke out around 4 p.m. and quickly spread. Now, some of the shots that we took here were from Sky Ranger this afternoon, and fire crews from Berlin, Valencia County and several other departments were all called to this scene very quickly. A total of about 70 firefighters were on the ground and one single engine air tanker dropped fire retardant. They were all called into action very quickly. Now, crews battled the worst of the flames for a good two hours before things got under control. The fire is now 80 percent contained. Nearby, about eight homes were evacuated. Fire crews stood around those homes to make sure that they didn't catch fire. Uh, there are some fuel tanks in the area as well, but they were not under threat. One resident who witnessed the entire area go up in flames spoke to us. Tell you the truth, I was scared. I never was this close to a fire like this before. And this was real. For the people's lives, you think of the, uh, the much effort that we put into the valley here of having nice greenery and trees and then to see all that whoop. It's smoke, it's stir-wracking. And fire officials tonight confirm with us the cause of this fire. They say that a car that was still warm was in park, and the heat exhaust actually ignited grass underneath that car, which started this entire fire. There will be no citations issued. It's being classified as accidental. Diane, back to you. All right, thank you, Jim. Fire crews also battled a fire in the same area last week, the Stable Fire. That burned 120 acres before it was contained.